Viewing the design calculations for connections designed by SDS2 Connect is similar to editing connections. Select Report on the SDS2 Connect toolbar, choose a structural element, and finally the connection node for which you wish to view the design calculations. Users could also select any part of the material or bolts that make up the connection. In the report that is printed, you will first see basic information about the structural element, then the supporting element, and the framing situation. By clicking on the element ID, the corresponding element will be highlighted and zoomed to fit in Revit. Next, you will see information about the connection, such as material, grade, bolts, etc. Finally, you will see connection limit states along with the AISC reference. The report should show connection is OK at the bottom, indicating that the limit states satisfy the load input in the connection edit window. Below all this information, you will see headers for the supporting element and the opposite end connection of the element you chose to run the report on. By clicking on the header, this will expand or collapse the calculations to view the information for those elements. Also, on the right side of the header, there is a link to view extended report in Firefox. This will open an extended design calculation report in Mozilla Firefox, which shows the information we have already seen, plus the formulas, values used in the formulas, and the longhand calculations that show how SDS2 Connect arrived at the limit state values. Using Mozilla Firefox is currently the only way to view the extended design calculations. If users have checked the option for user connection and made changes to end preps or design details, SDS2 Connect is no longer designing the connections. At this point, the connection design is a user's responsibility. However, SDS2 Connect does check the connection using the values input by the user. In this case, I'll simply change the horizontal hole spacing in my flange plates. Now looking at the design calculations report of this user connection, we will see a note indicating this is a user connection and review is required to evaluate the strength and application. Also take note that SDS2 Connect does not specify this connection is OK. The extended report can also still be viewed to see how SDS2 Connect determined these limit states. Users can also view the design calculations for multiple connections by first selecting the structural elements and then selecting report on the SDS2 Connect toolbar. This will give the same printout as a single connection design calculation report, but we have multiples in the same window. We can 
collapse and expand by clicking on the headers you can view the extended report in Mozilla Firefox again as well. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect Design Calculations Tutorial.